while pruning back some uh, of the older leaves and sealing up some spots with nori, I found a fairly serious problem right here. Now this is a very good example of why it's very important to provide adequate support to the plants. This branch grew very thick and strong and it looped up, which is probably why it didn't actually break. However, it's putting a lot of weight here with the growth of these tomatoes. Now, what I should have done is tied a string here to the stake just to give it some extra support. Un unfortunately, um, it's a bit too late for that. So, I need to take some uh, action to remedy the problem. Now, if I leave this alone, it will eventually split out and just break apart. Or, if it doesn't split off, it will at the very least significantly hurt the plant. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this. This is organic raw nori. Now, you can buy this at any grocery store, and it is the best bandage I have ever used for a plant. It can be a bit difficult to work with at first, so what I've got probably have to use more than one little section. Now, I'm going to take this little bit, and I'm stuffing it in here. Now, that's not all I'm doing, of course. This is just going to provide a bandage. Yeah, I'll need a bit more than this. This is just, um, well, nori is a seaweed. It's used for making sushi, or wrapping the sushi in. And because it's a seaweed, it contains a full range of trace minerals from the sea and macronutrients. I'm basically stuffing this around the open wound, and it will dry in place. Then, as for good measure, I'm going to be binding up the area, tying around it, just to hold it in place. Now this will heal the wound. Now if you notice, there's actually already a little ridge here. One method that I applied when growing this is I took multiple different uh, suckers and I bound them together to get them to merge into a larger stock. And at this point, they end up going their separate directions. It's a good method for uh, thickening things out. Of course, the best method is still to uh, bury the plant after cutting off sections of leaves. Let's see. And right here is where I actually cut off a, a little section for pruning. Now it's actually pretty normal for uh, the older leaves on a plant this size to uh, end up aging separately. So it, it is good to uh, cut back these leaves. These aren't insect damage, these are just old leaves. Uh, what happens oftentimes is uh, spider webs grow around them and they overcrowd each other and then they just die down because they're not getting any light. Um, you could leave these alone, but pruning them will help leaves behind them grow better. Anyway, now that that has been set, I have here, it's actually not even a piece of twine, this is a, a section of cloth uh, that was torn off for the purpose of this. Now I'm going to set the camera down for a moment so I can tie it up and then you can see how this looks. As you can see, as I tightened it, a little bit came up, so I'm pushing it down a bit before I tie another notch around. I uh, gently looped that one over the break 
So I have to have one more tie just to tighten around. This was a very loose tie. It's just to seal things in the top. Like I said, the nori will thicken and dry and be a perfect seal for the plant. All right, now I'm getting this last bit good and tight. Let's see, tighten a bit more. And now I'm uh, just double knotting it, just to give it a good hold. And there you go. A nori bandage. Now this is a very, uh, uh, although this is a very serious break, this was very easy to remedy because I was able to seal the affected area and keep it relatively in good shape. Um, now there is a worse angle I found right here. Now uh, these uh, black crimped tomatoes just grew too heavy, I mean they're just growing too well for this size of this stalk here and this bit just came down. Now this, if I was able to pull this up a bit, I'd be able to definitely save this. Unfortunately, if I pulled it up, given how sharp of an angle that is and with nothing to tie it to, there's a very good chance this thing would just break off. So what I did is I just attached some nori to the top of this, wrapped it around gently. Um, as you can see there's some underneath it as well. And hopefully that will at least um, save it for long enough to let this this ripen although it's possible that this is not gonna make it I'm actually gonna clip this bit here because any more weight and I can almost guarantee that I'm gonna lose this branch section and this whole area here I trimmed back the branches because it's just way too out from the stakes. I mean, this is just growing out over the sidewalk at this point. Um, so I just have to be careful when I allow these to grow this way because oftentimes these thinner branches aren't that well. And this is um, a good argument for cutting suckers in key positions. I find that near the middle, it's a good idea to let suckers grow because the suckers are actually attaching to each other and providing support for each other but out on the edges um, unless you can uh, tie things up like this or uh, stake things out like this it's a good idea to get rid of uh, suckers you know where you see them uh, within reason I mean prune things back now this is actually a very good idea what you do is you put multiple shorter stakes for a branch going out over top of other plants like kale and with this method, you are able to maximize your growing space because the sunlight for a south facing angle will still get plenty of light to these while also providing room for tomatoes and giving adequate support. Now, even though I might lose a branch or two and the occasional tomato, as you could see, I, uh, I'm definitely doing well. Many of these branches are definitely strong enough to hold and as you can see here this is holding up very well and that's partially because of the angle of the growth by trimming back certain things letting other things grow out it's just holding up very very well anyway so that's how to uh, bandage up a uh, damaged tomato vine with nori and a bit of twine and or uh, cloth. I think the cloth is better for this kind of break. Although for uh, this kind of uh, break where it was just kind of angled down the way the uh, excess tomato was, um, I think that this is good enough when you're just trying to hold it up and come to a thick dry. So anyway, 
Hope you learned something from this. 